All right, I know you like pot. All right, cool. I love some pot, man. And speaking of pot, the jackpot is at $800 million. Bruh, I do not need to win $800 million. Oh, I do not. They do not need to see a real nigga in America with $800 million. Man, that's going to fuck the whole economy up. That'll fuck the whole economy up, man. Now, have you played the lotto before? Bro, I play that shit every time that it get up, and don't I'll never win. See, you don't need a nigga like me to win no fucking $800 million. If I win $8,000, you ain't gonna be able to tell me shit. Now, have you, do you, when you play the lottery, is it like quick pick shit? You thinking about these numbers? Is it no, the scratch off games? Even if I do think about some numbers, they just gonna be some random ass numbers. I'd much rather them just print me a ticket here. Yeah. I want them to print my shit because the machine know what number gonna win. So print me one that might win. Fuck what I'm talking about. I don't know shit. I might get one number right. Fuck with this machine. I got four out of five. All I needed was a six. Now with eight hundred million dollars. Eight hundred million dollars. Something like eight hundred. When they take, if if somebody wants a lump sum, and they take out the taxes, and then the state takes the taxes out if it's a state income tax state, yeah. um, it comes down to like half of that. You know what I mean? So like eight hundred million in one lump sum might be three hundred and fifty or four hundred million. What would you personally do with three hundred and fifty or four hundred million dollar oh, lump sum? Man. First of all, if I had if I won the the money, first thing, I'm gonna I'm gonna put put a whole bunch of libraries in every black community, right? But this to kick it up, the library got a studio in it. So my niggas can read and get their motherfucking mixtapes, right? And we putting Whole Foods in all the hoods because we need some produce, too. They act like we don't like fresh produce. Shit. We just ain't paying no $2 for no fucking apple, though. And and just to look out for all my niggas, though, I'm going to pay everybody child support up to zero. But after that, you're on your own. I'm giving my niggas one more chance. You know what I'm saying? But see, if I had the whole $800 million, I'd see if I could, like, buy some land, like, some land down one in America just to move my niggas over there, just to be a little more safer from all this police violence and shit. Like, let us have, like, like some shit down one, like, North and South Dakota, you know what I'm saying? Like, let us get that little, or Montana, you know what I'm saying? Like, let, mo let, let us move over there, but we ain't got to worry with all that bullshit. You know, I look into some real estate to move my folks away from all this violence and shit. And people always be like, would you get some to the church? Hell no, nah, could the church been doing so much stealing? I might help some church people. I ain't gonna fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? Them old ladies who be doing their best and get their little ass. Now they deserve something, but them dudes who be stealing from the members, they don't need shit out. So, you know what I mean? Help the kids out. Some community centers. We definitely need to invest in some art. Put the music back in school. Let the kids get more artistic youth centers. That's where the money and shit need to go. Fuck these adults. They already fucked up. Invest back in the kids because they got a chance. So that's what I do with my bread. And I don't need all that money. Because you know what I'm saying? I'm, one of them. I'm from the hood. I don't need all that. I'm going to try to help as many people as I can. But I'm going to try to help some people who really want some help who ain't never had shit. Because that's all life is about. A few little smiles and shit. Help some people. Put some smiles on some faces. Buy some bullshit. We're going to buy some bullshit. Got to. So, yeah, that's all I do. Would you keep your day job? Fuck no. Fuck no. If I had $800 million, I ain't giving a fuck about nothing. My son dropping out of first grade because his <laughs> teacher don't make enough money to teach him shit. He need to be watching me all day. I'm not keeping no job. I'm I'm buy me a job. I buy me about eight or nine TV stations and just talk to motherfuckers. Be like, how y'all doing? Y'all straight? Good. I'm still straight. Just letting you know. Then I had to buy this show, so uh, the motherfuckers ain't killed me yet. This show is just to keep me alive, to let you know they're trying to get me. That's all I do. Mm. Ain't no telling, man. You see me with 800 million, ain't no telling. I fucking, I would look crazy as hell to you because I'd be doing what the fuck I want to do. I'd be wearing a turban, dressing up like cartoon characters and shit, karate geese. Real live samurai swords from the 1400s. <laughs> I'm that type of nigga. Like, I would be over the top. All my accessories be real. You know what I mean? Oh man, you like you don't like this shirt? You don't like this shit? This the same this they made this shit out of fucking out of a real mummy. What are you talking? You know what I mean? I'm that type of extravagant. Buying Fabergé eggs and shit. Just balling out of control.
Rich shit, drinking coffee all the time. A butler. Nigga hold my umbrella. You think you seen Puffy Rick. Let me fuck around and get that money. You would be like, this motherfucker is setting the black race back eight or nine years at a time. <laughs> You would definitely bypass a few people Man. on that Forbes list. Who you? Shit. <laughs> I would make history. The fastest motherfucker to spend all this money.